guys, welcome back to another beautiful Mayla video. Today we have Ezron with uh, a whole haircut, and we have four different youth leaders that will be answering three different questions. Now, here are the youth leaders that will be doing this video. Um, hello everybody. Um, my name is Bill Devon. Um, right now I am actually one of the um, young adult directors at my local church, which is in Queens, South Ozone Park. Uh, Church of God of Prophecy. Um, I also do other, you know, extracurricular stuff. Um, I also play bass and stuff like that. And whenever we have camp, I'm one of the counselors. And that's how I met Ezron. Um, I think it was about two years ago. Two years ago? Oh, man. I don't even remember, but yeah. Hey, everyone. This is Brother Gio, and I attend the East New York Church of God of Prophecy. And I'm here today to help my brother Ezron with this video. Hi, my name is Shari, and I go to East New York Church of God of Prophecy. So, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Andrea um, Trimmingham Ina. I attend the East New York Church of God of Prophecy, and I'm going to be answering a few questions. Okay. So, so the, fir the first question we have to for today is, how have uh, your life changed since dedicating your life to God versus before? So, I would say, you know, I was born in church, like, you know, I was basically born on the bench, but you know, as you live life, you know, things happen and you know, you, you get saved and sometimes you get saved twice. Sometimes you do all that different stuff. But, um, I could really say that like when I really dedicated my life to God, like, um, it was a big change. I could tell you that for like, for sure. I remember, um, I went through some stuff as soon like the day after I turned 18, I had like a very traumatic experience and a lot was going on. And, um, I remember that it, it, it actually went on for a few months, about three, four months. And after I came out of that situation, I said to God, you know what, this is me and you We're doing this. Like, like I'm not playing no more games. I'm not doing nothing crazy. Like I'm really, giving you everything and ever since then I haven't turned back so I would say tremendously there's there's been a, a change that uh it's very difficult to put in words actually um life with God I, I would just say from then to now has just complete 180 um I'm a new person I desire to just only do the things that God wants me to do what is something life has definitely become a lot easier um I feel like God has been leading me and I've been able to be in relationship and listening to him. So making decisions and moving has been so much easier than when I tried to do it on my own. So I think one of the major changes in my life has been that I realize that I can do nothing of my own. I, I think that, um, well, I grew up in the church so I always understood God's presence and I knew who he was. But um, as I got older, I started to, I started to feel like, you know, I did a lot of things on my own and uh, just not really acknowledging who was the greater power in it all. Uh, and second question. From an outside point of view, people may think that the Christianity lifestyle is boring. But what are some things you do to keep yourself entertained while still following the will of God? So, you know, for me, you know, everybody goes through the high school phase. Everybody goes through, um, you know, even some people go through a college phase where, you know, you're going crazy and doing all these things. But for me, um, I've been like always saved. So like I really like just found myself doing stuff in the church. I'm a musician. Um, even like outside of church, like... Um, I would say like it really depends on like the friends you have because you can still have fun like you don't have to think that like you know oh my god like I have to be praying every moment like oh my god 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 Jesus 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 like <laughs> like you can literally enjoy yourself like I have a, a group of friends um, both in New York and um, also in New Jersey because I'm you know very active over there. And um, sometimes, like, we'll just, like, go bowling or we'll play dominoes or, like, you know, just hang out. Just, like, watch a movie, like, a, a, com a comedic movie or something like that. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you still represent Christ whatever in whatever you're doing. So, of course, you know, you can have your fun, do what you got to do, but 
at the same time also remember that you know you're a christian so you know people are watching you whether you believe it or not people are watching you so enjoy yourself like have fun like there's nothing wrong with having fun but as long as you're also representing christ in it no matter what. Uh, when i first got saved i thought that i had to live in a bubble like i couldn't do anything because i was afraid of sinning but as i learned more about god i realized he was a god of relationship and and with that being said as i developed relationships with other christians then i began to realize that we can still do things like meet up and have game night um go bowling uh watch movies um so those are the type of things that i, I do to to keep myself uh entertained Why do you um I still do all the things that I did before um, becoming saved. I just tweak them a little. So I still have girls night. So um, one thing that has helped me a lot is that I um, have made new friendships and new bonds and with people in the church and people who are pursuing the same relationship with God that I do. And um, good thing for us, we all, we all like the same things. You know, we all like uh, to eat in, at nice restaurants. We all like games and and um, and trivia and things like that. So I kind of um, spend a lot of time with my church family. So my family lives uh, in Georgia, so they're not very close. So I've developed a second family. And uh, we kind of do the same thing that my family and I like to do. We go out to eat, we go hang out, we play games. Um, so um, do I still like music? Do I still like to dance? Do I still like to do those types of things? Yeah, but you definitely have to do them in a different way now, you know. Um, your manners have to be a little bit more contained than it would be if you were in the secular world and not uh, a Christian. Your dress would have to be different. Um, but we still enjoy one another. We still enjoy our time. And so I've kind of channeled that um, love of life and music and fun and food. And I just now deal with people who would, who at the end of the day, whether we have fun or not, we're all pursuing the same thing. We're all pursuing Christ. So some things don't get lost in a sauce. Certain boundaries don't get crossed because you surround yourself with people who feel the same way that you feel. Right. So and the, the final and last question we have for today is, why do you think people should dedicate their life to God? Why I believe that people should dedicate their life to God. Um, there's so much um, reward, like there's so much benefits from serving God. Um, when you dedicate your life to God, it's like you're saying to him, all right, whatever you need me to do, I'll do. And he's not just someone who's going to just, you know, watch you do what you're doing and not reward you. Like, he, he gives gifts. He gives blessings on top of blessings. Like, I could even testify of one even yesterday. Like, you know, I was just talking to one of my bros and, you know, just encouraging him. He's encouraging me. And, you know, he just slipped $40 into my hand just like that. Like, you know, things like that. Like, because you're serving God, God never leaves his kids or his children, excuse me, um, begging for anything like he is amazing like he he will always take care of those who surrender to him he's not just a gimme 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 god like he gives back and that's one of just one of the benefits of dedicating your life to god i, I think a life dedicated to god is, is impossible to put in words i think when you experience the fullness of god i think it's, it's just it's out of this world. You, you can't explain it, but it's such a, a, a peaceful, loving, calming, and, and reassuring feeling. God. And simply, there's no other way. Um, my life has changed and changed for the better. And I'm sure Christ, God would do that for everyone, for anyone. Some people, especially younger people, feel like they have so much more life to live. Um, they don't want to quite settle down yet into Christianity and they want to get all these things out of their system. Um, but uh, God brings such a different fullness. I am trying to figure a good, uh, the right word to say. So much different fullness to your life. Um, that is definitely not the same as things that, you, you know, other people think are fun to do. Um, uh, but it's different. And it's just as enriching and um, 
He's your best friend. I know everyone has a best friend. Um, but God has proven to be my best friend. Like I said before, I consult him and everything. And he speaks to me. And uh, we laugh. You know, it's not like this is a God. Well, my God. My relationship with God is not like, you know, oh, you're all the way over there. And, you know, I can't talk to you. And I can't, you know, dwell. You know, you won't dwell with me. You won't commune with me. No, my he's my father. And I think the great... Um, part of this relationship is that I have an awesome relationship with my father. I think my secular father is one of my best friends and I think it helps with my relationship with Christ. Um, who wouldn't want to be around their best friend all the time? Who wouldn't want to talk to their best friend? Who wouldn't want to know more about their best friend? And and God can be that for everyone and he wants to be that for everyone. My guy. <laughs> That's the that's the end of this long video. I hope that all all these youth leaders that came to speak today, I thank them so much for just volunteering their time, and I pray that you got something important out of this. I pray that you really try to take God serious. I'm telling you right now, when you take God serious, He takes you serious too. Yep. Like, interview with somebody because I know I know somebody out there that's gonna need this, and make sure you need it for yourself too. Yes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, also turn on my post notifications. So anytime I upload, you will see receive a notification from okay. me. Mm -hmm. Bye guys. Just enjoy life. Stay safe. And remember, respect, love, and honor. Honor yourself and your parents too. Amen. Mm -hmm.